Hello, it's Rachel. Today's project is going to be a spring-themed altered domino book. I'm starting here with a piece of lightweight cardstock and I'm adding alcohol inks in three different colours to my craft sheet. I'm then going to add some blending solution to this before dipping my paper to colour it. Next, I'm going to use the same colours of alcohol ink to colour my dominoes. The dominoes are going to form the book covers and the piece of paper that we previously coloured is going to form the pages. Here you can see that I've concertina folded the inside pages for my domino book and now I'm going to use a variety of different stamps to create a spring themed scene. The stamps I'm using are from Personal Impressions, Art Impressions and Cardio. All the coloured stamping is being done in Tim Holtz Distress Inks and I also use black ink from Versafine for the silhouette images that I add.
Once I've finished with the stamping, I decided that I'd like to add some glitter to the page. So for this, I've chosen a Wink of Stella pen. This is the clear, which adds a quite subtle amount of glitter to the page. I'm going over all of the little flowers and then I also add some to the foliage at the top of the page, as well as the grass. Once I've finished with the inside pages, I'm now going to work on the covers. I've decided I want to add some of the bunny images to the front and the back cover. So I've chosen three different stamps for this and I'm stamping them onto some lightweight cardstock using VersaFine Ink and Onyx Black before cutting them out. This is a Krylon gold leafing pen and I use this to colour the sides of the dominoes and also add a small border around the front and the back of each domino and again to the border of my inside pages. To add a shiny finish to the dominoes, I've decided to use some epoxy resin. This is easy cast resin, it's a 50-50 mix and you just stir it and then pour it on. I always use a heat gun to get rid of the bubbles, as you will see, um, that will eliminate most of the bubbles and then I usually go back after a couple of minutes and see if it needs reheating. Um, just a gentle heat to bring any of those air bubbles to the surface. I will say one thing, if you want to um, do something like this, you definitely need to seal the dominoes well, otherwise um, the alcohol ink will move and also the gold leafing pen will move as well. So just make sure you've sealed it really well with something like Mod Podge or Matte Medium or whatever you have that's going to seal it. This is now the morning after. I do like to leave resin to dry overnight so I'm 100% certain that it's set. I'm now using some Ranger Glossy Accents to attach my covers. So the front cover I attach straight on there. For the back cover however I'm attaching a very small piece of chipboard underneath the page and this is because I want to connect some ribbon to form a closure and because the cardstock is so very thin for the pages um, I didn't want that ribbon to show through the back page so adding a piece of chipboard there is going to prevent that from being seen.
That is everything for today, I hope you enjoyed watching. These are super fun little projects to make and obviously you can theme them however you want. So you could create them for different occasions throughout the year or just using stamps and supplies that you want to play with. If you would like to view the product list for today's project, you'll find that in the video description as well as details of my mixed media challenge group over on Facebook and all my other social media sites.